Hey guys, in this little video I want to show you how I replaced my vintage thermostat with the Nest E. Now this old thermostat only has two wires and I wasn't entirely sure if it would work with the Nest, but I gave it a shot anyways. I started with turning off the power to the furnace. Then I removed the cover of the thermostat and undid the screws. I should have started with the screws that hold down the wires instead of the screws that hold down the actual thermostat. But as you can see, the old unit is stuck to the wall by a million layers of paint, so it didn't really matter. You just make sure that you undo the screws connected to the wires first so the thermostat won't dangle on just the two leads. And there we go, time to get this retro piece of gear off the wall. Now as you can see, this older unit does not have the leads labeled, and the old thermostat doesn't really say which cable is which, other than that one cable is white and the other is black. So I checked the website to see if it is compatible. And this is the wizard that Nest gives you to run through. Now my thermostat does not have any of these wires with caps. And as you can see here, my thermostat is labeled 30 volts max. Now in this next step, it's mentioning the wires and mine are not labeled. And um, yeah, it was a little bit of a gamble from here on. I briefly checked to see if the cover plate actually covers the entire surface of the old thermostat and was happy to see that I wouldn't have to do any painting after this. I grabbed the base and screwing it into the drywall was super easy with the self-topping screws that came with the unit. There's a level in the base which is very handy. Now this is how I hooked up the wires. I connected the white wire to the W and the black wire to the R. As soon as I connected the display, it let me run through the setup process. I had to connect the unit to the Wi-Fi network, add location, and some other details about the house. Now I'm quickly skipping to the equipment setup, and here you can see that the heat and power wires are connected. The unit needed a bit more details about the house, and from there I was able to do a test run to see if everything was hooked up properly. So there we go, it's that easy. And it worked perfectly with these two wires I have, so I'm super happy with it. Now we've been using the thermostat for a couple weeks now, and we really like it so far. It's good to have a bit more insight and control over how the house is doing in terms of heating. If this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you have one of these or are thinking about getting one. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.